I'll first start off with unboxing the Apple Pencil. As usual, the Apple Pencil is packaged in an elegant slim box with pencil written on the sides and a pull out flap under the shrink wrap. I'll just remove the shrink wrap in order to pull out the flap and slide out the Apple Pencil enclosure. The Apple Pencil is covered with a cardboard type pouch with the words designed by Apple in California written on it and that holds the documentation on using the Apple Pencil, warranty summary, an extra tip and a lightning adapter to charge the Apple Pencil via a USB lightning cable. I'll just lift out the Apple Pencil and remove the protective wrap as shown. The Apple Pencil feels good to hold and weighted just right in my opinion. Pulling out the magnetic cap on top of the pencil reveals a lightning connector for pairing the Apple Pencil with the iPad which will be shown shortly and for charging the Apple Pencil. Let's now move on to unboxing the 6th generation iPad. As shown, the top and bottom of the box displays the Apple logo and iPad written on the sides. A profile picture of the iPad is shown on the top face of the box and specifications of the model purchased on the bottom face of the box. Okay. I opted for the silver with white bezel with 128GB storage and Wi-Fi only model. After removing the shrink wrap and lifting up the top face box cover, you're presented with the 6th generation iPad. The 6th generation iPad comes in three colors, silver or gold with white bezel or space gray with black bezel. Storage capacities of either 32 or 128 gigabytes and connectivity option of either Wi-Fi only or Wi-Fi plus cellular. I'll just place the iPad aside for the moment. Looking in the box, there's a lightning to USB cable. Also included is a pouch with the words designed by Apple in California written on it and holds documentation on using the iPad along with two white Apple logo stickers and a USB power adapter. The one shown is a UK version. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, I'll just unwrap the iPad from its protective sleeve. The iPad feels pretty light, weighing in at 1.03 pounds or 469 grams. Okay, now for the tech bit. On the bottom of the iPad, there's a lightning connector socket. Also, built-in stereo speakers. On the top of the iPad, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack and twin microphones. Found on the back, there's an 8 megapixel 1080p camera, on off or sleep and wake button and on the side a volume up and down button. And on the front there's a 1.5 megapixel FaceTime HD front facing camera and also a home touch ID sensor. And not forgetting to mention the new iPad packs a powerful A10 Fusion chip currently running iOS 11. Okay. With the unboxing all done, the first thing that needs to be done is to pair the Apple Pencil with the new iPad. Therefore, after signing in with your Apple ID, to pair the Apple Pencil, simply insert the Apple Pencil Lightning Connector into the iPad Lightning Socket. Wait a few seconds till the iPad recognizes the Apple Pencil with a Bluetooth pairing request message. Just click on the pair button to finish the pairing procedure.